Hey guys, I am back with another video and it's another installment in the Make Bars series. So today I'm going to be talking about my all-time holy grail must-have kit items. And this is um, part of my Tuesday Alcone at Home post with my blogger team. And it just happened to be that a couple of weeks ago I filmed an updated train case video. And then I kind of like went through all of my kit items quickly because it was just going to be a really long video. And then I asked you guys, do you want me to go over some of my kit? favorites and what's in my kit and you said yes so this is kind of really convenient because our scheduled post um, with my little group was kit must have so I'm going to show you um, some more in more detail what it, what it was I featured in that makeup train case video and all these items are true must haves like I've been using them for several years they've been mentioned multiple times a few new items but mostly um, classic holy grail type stuff and then everything happens to conveniently be available on my Alcone at Home web store because I picked them out if they weren't already there because a lot of the stuff is best selling um, Alcone products so they put them on the best of Alcone tab and I put my favorite products on there too so they will all be there links will be below and all the pictures and all the info and um, will be in my blog and in my blog I literally went through every single project every single product and I listed the last time I one of the earlier times I talked about it like for example the beauty blender I, I mentioned like in 2010 I started talking about it so that way you know that these products are truly my favorites and I'm not just saying them because of the Alcone at home program truly truly kit favorites and I definitely recommend them and now they're all in my web store because I want a convenient place to house them so that way when you guys see something you like you just go to one place flat flat rate shipping you don't have to go to a million places so with that done let's go ahead and jump right into it so like I said these are all items that I love and I recommend and I can't live without in my kit so let's start with like the skin and kind of go end like how you would do a regular makeup process so the first one and let me mention a lot of these I've mentioned before so sorry if it's a repeat Embryo Lisa Lake Crime Concentrate is the best kit moisturizer I've ever used I think this is like a staple in makeup artist kits I, I probably every makeup artist has used this or uses this and it's really good it's French it feels so amazing and it looks good on every skin type so I definitely recommend this that's the only moisturizer I pretty much use in my kit um, I've fallen in love with this new project this is face to face super matte anti shine yeah you gotta have an anti shiner kit because as a makeup artist you gotta be able to control oily skin types and do it better than they would. So um, an anti-shine is more of a pro product that you should carry so you can show your client that you know how to take care of their oily skin. The face-to-face -face is really good. It's a real classic product. It's been around for years. It doesn't flake off. It totally, totally mattifies the T-zone without any issues. So this is the face-to-face -face super matte anti-shine. comes in light, medium, and dark. It's pretty translucent though, so you can really get any shade. Um, my favorite primer is the Nurturing Forest Blot out, blot out Offensive. I mentioned this during my last Summer Proof Makeup video. It's re it's just really good. I've been using it for years. Ever since Encore Makeup recommended it, like four years ago, I was all over it and it really does work. So that's that. Okay, so let's move on to um, correctors, concealers. I can't live without the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealers in my kit. It's the only corrector where I really use on clients and it's so good. I have the trio and I have all the individual shades too. I always use these on all my clients. Like every single client, I correct their under eye circles. I feel like you can't get rid of darkness without using a corrector. And this has like totally changed my makeup game, so I'm so glad. So I definitely, definitely recommend Eve Pearl Salmon Concealers in whatever shade you happen to use. For my personal self though, I do use the Ben Nye Medium Slash Tattoo Cover Neutralizer Cream Crayon been using this for like four years and I, I use it like every single makeup like every full face makeup I do because I just think it just I can't live without it I just feel like it really knocks out darkness here if I try to just do a concealer I just I see that darkness so this is my favorite it's a really great shade for me I love how it's so easy in this little stick form blend it in I've used it a million times in my videos and it's only 10 bucks so good stuff okay so let's move on to foundation so, in my kit, I love Graftobium Foundation. I've said that for years. I still love it. I still carry the Super Cream palettes. And I have tons of videos on that. So, I want to mention that. And I do want to mention a few other favorite foundations that I love. Um, and that includes Makeup Forever HD. 
This is totally a staple in my kit. I didn't used to love it, but um, when I started using it on clients, I was like, this is amazing. It looks really good on the skin. It's buildable. It has great shades. It's just like a really, really good for everybody foundation. So I definitely recommend this for your kit and for yourself. Another kit must have for me is the Face Atelier Pro Foundations. I don't talk about them as much, but I carry them in my kit and I love the fact that they're like full coverage. They come in these little bottles, so it's very kit friendly. I always make sure to carry the shade Zero Plus, which is like a darker brown. Zero Plus Plus, which is a really dark brown. Heat, which is an orange, and Zero Minus, which is a white. So those are all correctors or adjusters for your foundation. So you can use the white to lighten it up, the dark brown to deepen it, or the orange to warm it up. Like it's just like, it saved my life a million times with being able to perfectly match foundation. So Face Atelier Pro is definitely a kit must have. And um, the more recent um, foundation must have that I love, I'm so glad I discovered this, is the RCMA Foundations. These are the new pan ones that come with the Alpine at Home pro program. I have a foundation video that I'm gonna do soon and you'll see, it's just amazing. And I know a lot of people talk about this. James Vincent, Vincent from The Makeup Show, Wayne Goss from Goss Makeup Bars, they all love it and I see why. These are the two shades I use for all over and contour. Amazing. So that's that. Um, another cult must have is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I mean, you've seen this all over the place. It just works so good. I've been using it for years. I actually use it to set my entire face because it's yellow, I'm yellow, it works out. Um, a lot of people use it under the eyes to highlight, I do that too. So, I mean, just good stuff. I mean, just try it. It's only eight bucks. Actually, no, this one's five bucks. Great. Okay, here's that Face Atelier, the white corrector, or with a white adjuster and zero minus, just to show you. Okay, um, another um, must have is a beauty blender. Now there are different variations, this is the original. Beauty blenders really changed the makeup industry because they help people blend out that foundation and concealer so beautifully. I love the fact that it can take cakey foundation and full coverage and make it more like skin and it really looks so flawless. So definitely check out beauty blenders. At least carry one because they're reusable or um, at least use it on yourself. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, this has been like my thing for the last couple years and it's this is the it's I believe it's called the Prima the Prima um, eyelash curler it used to be called Preo it's a small tiny little pinching eyelash curler I love it because it has no cage walls so you can get in there and curl your lashes without like bending some that don't fit into that caged regular curler style which can be a problem especially with Asian eyes because we just have a different lash shape going on, but this will get into the smallest lashes. And I use this for um, when I have falsies on to stamp the real lashes and the falsies together and lift it. Because there's nothing worse than a droopy lash and that happens like a lot. So just pinch it and it's like lifted and it makes such a big difference. And I use it on all my clients, always. I always, always use it when I put on false lashes. So I definitely recommend the Preo Eyelash Curler or it's called Prima, Prima Eyelash Curler. Um, okay, we're, we're rounding up here. So another um, call, holy grail item is the OCC Lip Tar. These have been around for years and they keep coming up with new, new like finishes and new textures and new colors. This has also changed the makeup game. Um, super, super pigmented. I love the fact that they're so makeup artist friendly because you can mix, mix and match to get any shade you want. You can even put a little bit in a five gram jar and give it to your bride as a touch up product. I do that all the time. I'll carry like just a couple of these and then a clear gloss to put on top so then I don't need to carry glosses. It's just like such a great product. So OCC lip tarts are a must have. Okay, so let's talk about um, setting sprays. I mentioned these two in my last summer proof video so check that out for more details. But my current favorite, and I've been using this one for a really long time, it's Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. So good. Sets, take, sets the makeup, takes away the cakiness. Feels good, feels nourishing. And my recent favorite is the Ben Nye Final Seal. This is more of the hardcore version that I'll use on my brides, on people who I want that makeup to go just all day. So these are my cult must-have makeup finishing sprays. Now I only have two products left. Um, one of them is the Perion Spirit Brush Cleanser, or Brush Cleaner. This is 
like hands down the best brush cleaner on the planet. I love it. I can't live without it. I don't know what I would do if I, weren't, I didn't have it. If you have a stained makeup brush because you think you couldn't wash it out, use this on it. You will see. And it smells citrusy and nice. It's the best brush cleaner ever. So I love this. Total must have. Must have. And the last thing is the Beauty So Clean Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist. I think I first reviewed this in 2010 and I was like, miracle! Because it's really hard to sanitize your kit without it being cumbersome and messy. All you do is you spritz this a couple times on your makeup and you're done. That's it. Because before, if you had powder products like eyeshadows and powder, like setting powders, you had to wipe it off with a tissue because it would get all, and it will get all messy. Or, because if you try to spray like your eyeshadow with alcohol to sanitize it, you will know. It creates that hard film on top and it just messes up your eyeshadow. This does not do this. I have this whole review from 2010, I believe, which I'll link in my blog because all the products I mentioned that I, I, I have talked about for years, I put the like some of the original reviews so you could see. Really do love them. Really, really good stuff. And I would say like 90% of these are available on my Alphone at Home web store. So I have all the links below. So I hope that helps you guys. These are really, really great products. So please try them because I promise you this will change your makeup game. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And all the details will be on makeupbyrenren.com. And until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.